This remote is so nice to have. I control my diesel heater from bed. I just turned it on down there. And now, I can lay here under the covers and wait for it to warm up, but I have been laying here for about an hour. I watched the sunrise this morning from bed. Right over that hill over there. We got a kind of a view of the water from, from bed over here, but we're waking up early today because we have got a long drive ahead of us because we have to make it all the way to Albuquerque. And for anyone wondering what the uh, temperature is, it's 41 degrees Fahrenheit, which is five degrees Celsius. It's time to get up and get out of here because as I said, we have to drive all the way to Albuquerque. New Mexico today, which is about five hours away. And the reason that we have to drive all the way to Albuquerque is because there was a hiccup with the shipment of my mini truck. So for those of you guys who don't know, my name is Ryan. I live in the back of my self-converted camper van. Right now we are on a road trip across the country at Lake Meredith in Texas, where we slept last night. And I'm on a road trip to San Diego where I'm gonna be building out a mini truck into a camper, but I had to ship the mini truck from my parents' house in Maryland to where I'm living in San Diego. And there was something that was wrong, so I gotta go fly home for a few days to go get it shipped and then fly back here and then continue my drive to San Diego to meet the truck. That is what we're doing today. And I think we're probably just gonna stealth camp in the airport parking lot tonight. And man, this heater feels absolutely heavenly. I know I say it every video, but just standing in front of it and having this like warm air blowing out on me. Uh, something so crazy about it but it has been crazy windy here so if you watch my last video i'm in the exact same spot that i was but it's a day later because i stayed here an extra day because the spot was so perfect and i didn't really need to drive anywhere and i'd been driving around so much but i haven't even been able to go outside almost all day yesterday and this morning it's impossible to open this door it's so windy it creates like a suction on the van it's just been so unbelievably windy out it's not too bad right now last night the whole van was shaking it felt like there was a constant earthquake but you can see some of the white caps on the uh, like, oh, it's freezing cold too. But yeah, that's what I've been up to. So yesterday on my day off, I decided to make pancakes and eggs for breakfast. And I tried to make like one mega pancake that just filled up this entire pan and completely failed and it broke apart into a bunch of little tiny pieces when I tried to flip it. So that's what it became. I'm gonna reheat some of that up along with some eggs for breakfast today. So we got some scrambled eggs, some bacon bits, with a few pieces of pancake that actually got mixed in there. Oh no, the cheese went to the bottom. Alright, I guess these pancakes are warmed up enough, I don't really know. Some of the egg got mixed in there too. I also don't have any syrup. I do have jelly, which I think is a good alternative. There we go. Breakfast. Champions. I think I'm gonna sit up front and enjoy it up here because it's too cold to eat it outside. But I do want to enjoy some of this view this morning. So you might think with living in a van that uh, going to the airport or flying home is tough, but genuinely it makes it so much easier. I get to the airport the night before. I don't have to wake up any earlier than I need to. I walk right in, don't have to worry about getting a ride, an Uber, someone picking me up. Take my flight, go wherever I'm going, and then when I get back, my house is waiting for me at the airport. And some airports are super cheap, like the Albuquerque airport is only $7.00 a day but once i finish this delicious breakfast with a view we've got a few things we got to do on the way and then we're heading over there and yes i've done my dishes since my last video i have just cooked again and now i have to do them again but i'll do those tonight so i know it looks like i never do my dishes but i do i promise i like meredith been nice you've been beautiful <laughs> Might as well get a shower tonight since I haven't showered in like five days before I hop on a plane with a bunch of other people and head home. And there was like a Planet Fitness like 10 minutes away from the airport, which is where I am headed to next. And I do want to get over to the airport kind of early because I don't know how packed it's going to be with it kind of being closer to the holiday season. I know a lot of people are probably traveling this time of year, so I just want to make sure that I'm able to get a spot before it gets too late so I can figure something else out. And I think for dinner tonight, I'm going to have to get a little creative with the stuff that I just have left in the van because it makes no sense to go buy more food right before I'm leaving in the morning. Let's head over to the airport and find our hotel campsite for the night. This airport actually has two economy parking lots. One being the premium and one being the basic economy lot. 
and we are going to the basic economy lot for a few reasons. One, because it's cheaper. Yeah, 24 hours, $7. So $7 per day is a pretty good deal. I've paid a lot more, but it looks like there might not be a lot of spots. All right, so I was getting nervous there for a second because every spot was full. I mean, there was a bunch of people driving around, but we found this overflow lot nearby that has a ton of spots, so. Back to the reason that we parked here. Not only is this lot $7 a day, but as you can see, it is not covered and the sun hits it, which is good for two reasons. One, because it charges my solar panels. So if I, for some reason, forgot and left something on in the van, I would still be getting power in every day. So it's less likely that my batteries would completely die, which they probably wouldn't anyways, because I usually turn everything off. But the final main reason why I'm parking here is because again, the sun is shining down on the van, which will heat it up during the day which is good because it's supposed to get below freezing here pretty much every night that I'm gonna be gone. And that worries me because my pipes will freeze, but during the day it should warm up enough that it should be able to make it through the night without uh, any pipes freezing. At least that's the idea. But now that we've got our parking figured out, we've got quite a bit of daylight left to kill. <laughs> and not really much to do because we're just in a parking lot. I think before I do anything else, I'm gonna get these dishes done real quick. There we go. That was easy. Dishes done, put away and cleaned. And now, since it's still pretty early in the day, my friends texted me, wanted to play some uh, Fortnite. So I'm getting 94, 85, 75, 80 megabits per second on the download. So it should be downloaded pretty soon. So I'm gonna hop on and play that for a little while before we cook some dinner. And we're back after our quick intermission there playing some Fortnite. Got absolutely demolished for about two hours. And the sun is just about set. It's only five o'clock. See the sunset in the rear view there. These early days are really starting to uh, get to me, but I'm gonna get started on some dinner here because I'm getting kind of hungry. And I think for dinner, I'm gonna have some of that leftover chili and then some uh, Hasselback potatoes because I still got a few of those to use up. And I saw a recipe online for some Hasselback potatoes and I thought it looked so good, so I'm gonna make a few of them. And they're super easy to make. And I actually really wish that I'd started cooking these before I got an Xbox, because they do take about an hour to bake. Mine are a little bit smaller, so they might take a little bit shorter, but get our oven preheating. I'm gonna start prepping the potatoes. First things first, Let's see how many fit in my tray here. Right. Fit about three in there, so that's what we're gonna make. So, first thing we need to do, I'm on kind of a slant here so they're not gonna Hopefully they don't roll away. It's two chopsticks, my sharp knife. I'm not putting my apron on this time because I'm not really doing anything dirty. According to the information I saw online is you basically take your potato, set it up on these chopsticks, basically so you don't cut all the way through it, kind of like that. And then you just slice down until right before you cut all the way through the potato. And I'm gonna cut mine kind of thin because I feel like that'll make them better. So there we go. This potato is cut up into little slivers kind of stuck together but it's just cut basically down to a fourth of an inch away from the bottom set that in the pan and then repeat that with these other two potatoes and also i forgot to do this but make sure you wash your potatoes Number three so now we can set these in the pan like that and work on our little seasoning mixture and for that we need olive oil rosemary and garlic and essentially, I'm just gonna squirt some olive oil in this cup, sprinkling some rosemary, and then a nice spoonful of garlic. You mix that up. And basically, we're gonna take this and we're gonna spread this evenly over all of the potatoes. And I'm gonna try to get it in between each of the little sections on these potatoes, so I'm gonna have to spread them out once I get it on there. And there we go. That is them all beautifully seasoned up. Pop the oven open, throw those in there let those cook for right around 45 minutes. And while we wait for that, I'm gonna get my uh, stew started on reheating. So if you didn't watch my last video when I was in Texas, I made some Texas chili. Back here in the van, I have some leftovers. So I'm just gonna heat that up and have that for dinner as like my main course. So we'll get that on there and cooking. I'm gonna add one more thing to those Hasselback uh, potatoes that I think will make them way better once they're done. But while we wait for this chili to heat up and for those uh, potatoes to get cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and get myself packed for this fight tomorrow. If you guys have been following along on this whole trip, you'll know that I haven't been to the laundromat since I left. And my parents' washer and dryer is actually broken back home, so I can't use theirs. So I'm uh, gonna pack a bunch of dirty laundry and then go to my friend's house and wash some clothes. Here we go, all packed up. Got my backpack, my carry-on, and my soup. 
or chili. It looks like it's probably just about warm enough. We've got about another 15 minutes, I think, on these potatoes. But they are sizzling away in there. They smell absolutely heavenly. And honestly, flying out of airports in my van is one of the best perks of living in a van, I think, in my opinion. Because one, I'm already here for my flight tomorrow. And two, I get to maximize the amount of time that I get to sleep in because I'm already here and already packed and ready to go. So all I gotta do is wake up and walk over to the airport, which is especially nice for these early flights like I have tomorrow at 7 a.m. I've also got my uh, a nice candlelit dinner tonight. Turn off these harsh overhead lights. I feel like you guys never get to, okay, all the lights are off. Never get to see the van in its like kind of ambient lighting mode, which is what I call all of this. And if I had to redo it again, I'd probably use more warm LEDs as opposed to the harsh white overhead lights that I typically use. I do have one strip of warm LEDs over there in my bed area, but um, I actually rarely use those. I thought I would use those more, but I don't. Oh, we've got our appetizer, our chili already. So let's eat. And my hair looks absolutely crazy. But yeah, this is what I would call, I guess, and typically what I use for night mode in my van. So once the sun goes down and I'm not filming, I'll turn off those uh, bright overhead lights and kind of just have all these lower lights on so I can help myself get to sleep without staring into those bright white lights. Anyways, cheers. I didn't burn my tongue this time. And it's honestly probably getting around that time where I'm gonna start needing to uh, think about changing out the filter for my water, because it's been about two years and I think those things are good for two years. But then again, I don't really filter a lot of water through it. So mine will probably last a little bit longer than a standard one would, but anyways, this chili is just as good the second night. It's like the perfect level of spiciness. It's not too spicy where it's like overwhelming, but just spicy enough to give it that spicy flavor. And our potatoes are sizzling away. I can hear them while I'm sitting. We're probably gonna be done in about five minutes. Let me pull them out and check them. Yeah, maybe like four or five more minutes and those will be good to go. I do need to add one more thing to, this is like creepy, it's like I'm telling a campfire story. I do need to add one more thing to these potatoes and this is gonna be kind of a process to do. But basically I'm gonna peel some of these layers back on these potatoes and fill them up with some cheese. Ow, it's so hot. Turn the lights on for another minute. So this is cheddar cheese, not American. At least that is what it says. But it really tastes like American. It says sharp cheddar. Just take a little piece of this, stick it in between as many of these layers as I can, which is gonna take a little bit, so enjoy this time lapse of me doing that. There we go. They don't look as good as they did when I started, but I'm hoping once the cheese gets all melty after I put these back in here for another five minutes that they will look a little bit better. Cheese idea looked a little bit better in my head. Maybe if I hadn't used uh, like the cheese slices and got actual sliced cheddar cheese, they would look better, but yeah, not the prettiest looking thing. Hopefully I can scoop these out without doing too much damage to them. Oh my gosh. Oh, that one's destroyed. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. That one looks good. We got one successful removal. Back to our lovely candlelight dinner. The cheese on the inside melted nicely. It's just the cheese on the top that didn't melt very well. It's probably gonna be so hot. You know what that needs? A little bit of salt. I'm gonna be completely honest though, it wasn't really the best. Oh. Very hot. Not a lot of flavor in it, basically just tastes like exactly what it is. Uh, baked potato with a slice of cheese on it. I mean like objectively, they're tasty because it's just cheesy potatoes, but I think I would need to do something differently if I made them again. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna hang out here. There isn't really much else to do tonight. Probably just going to let those cool off a little before I finish them, eat my chili, and then just get to bed, hopefully at a reasonable hour tonight because I gotta wake up pretty early to catch my flight, so. I think that's it for this video, as always. Truly appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, please think about clicking the subscribe button. It really does help out the channel, and I will catch you guys next time.